Will 1984 bring for me? How many times will I trip and fall on my face? Oh, God. No, 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 no. 1983 was bad enough. Jeez. First year I ever came down with tapeworm. You know what it's like being diagnosed as having tapeworm? A living, breathing creature leaving inside your intestinal area. Taking your food, your nutrients. Well, at first I, I was hanging right at 190 pounds in, in my quest for grotesque development. I couldn't get any bigger and I was eating tremendous amounts of food. And then I started losing weight. I'm thinking, my God. 187, 185, 180 on the brink of ectomorphia. I went to the doctor. He took some tests. He said, yes, it's just as I suspected. You have a large tapeworm in your belly. I said, my God, what are we going to do? We have to operate? He said, no. Surgery is not necessary. Just come see me a week from today and bring a banana and two cookies. I said, well, yes, doctor, I will. All week long, I was nervous, wondering, what does this madman want from me? Tapeworm being treated with a banana and two cookies. The night before my appointment, I tossed and turned restlessly, but the next day, I showed up as planned with a banana and two cookies. I... I said, well, doctor, here I am. He said, all right, I see, brother, what you've needed. Please, drop your pants. Face the wall. Give me the banana and the two cookies. So sure enough, I did as he told. And I couldn't believe it. But he introduced the banana to my system. Followed by the two cookies. He said, that's it. Breathe in. Whoop, up, 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 up. That was whoop. It was a little uncomfortable at first, but after all, I didn't feel it at all. I turned to him. I said, well, he said, okay, see me a week from today. Bring a banana and two cookies. I thought I was dealing with a madman. I thought he's going to break out hysterical laughter at any time, but no. Too embarrassed to tell anyone what I was doing. I showed up the next week with a banana and two cookies. He said, I see you here. All right. Drop your pants, bear the Bombay doors, and give me the banana and the two cookies. And so, once again, he continued with his unusual treatment. He took the banana, introduced it to my system, and followed it by the cookies, one after another. By this time, I'd learned not to get chocolate chips. Ooh, ooh. And so the treatments went. Week after week for a month and a half, I showed up at this doctor's office with a banana and two cookies. Until finally, he changed the routine. The doctor said, next time I see you, bring a banana and a hammer. And I thought to myself, my God. He said, by the way, this will be our final treatment. And he smiled as he closed his office door in my face. But I have never been so nervous as I was the night before that appointment. I tossed and turned. I don't think I slept a wink until finally 11 a.m. rolled around and I was at the doctor's office with a banana and a hammer. We got in his room. He closed the door. He said, once again, please, drop trowel. Face the wall. He introduced the banana to my system, grabbed the hammer, and waited. Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Finally, the tapeworm stuck his head out and said, where's my cookies? And the doctor said, what, 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 what?